presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? How much, Tom? How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just had, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. This is a cool card, man. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 106, NASDAQ's up 243, SPs are up 40, gold contract down $17.20, trading at 1841 an ounce. You got silver down 36 cents, $21.45 an ounce. Light sweet crude down three bucks, $99.98 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 19 ticks, trading 118.25. The 30 year up a point, a full point plus 22 ticks. Laying out here at 138.20 and King Dollar. King Dollar is a trading up 224 ticks at 103.84. The Euro is at 105. The Yen's at 130.38. And the British Pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so you take a look at the SPY. Your price projection on the SPY was 394. We got 394. 394 is out here today. A rejected lower price out here today. Bottom line is that yet yeah, we'll see whether I can yeah, I can get a bounce going, meaning up to like 411. You're at 402 right now. That being said, I'm going to show you something here. We take this. This is the actually. Well, let me go through the Nasdaq first. This is the actual most dangerous place that we're actually in with this bounce, because my take here, the larger take, is that your next stop down here is going to be like in the 377 because what you have is this actually three was 366 right there huh i can do it okay so i talked about the aspect of these abc structures you get a one to one a one to point three eight two one to five oh right so what the problem here is looking at the spy is when we go over to the nasdaq the nasdaq hasn't reached its abc structure on the way down the nasdaq out here today is going to have a light of volume on the way up. That's how this thing's going to shake out. You're up six dollars. You hit uh, the low today is two ninety six. Well, two eighty one is the A to B equals C to D. And if I found out anything, uh, bottom line is that the Nasdaq leads up, the Nasdaq leads down, and in the overall context, folks, my take is we're not even close to. It's actually blowing my mind <laughs> that you can come down like this and. People are still coming in and think the market's going to snap back. But that's, that's what makes a market. That's the bottom line, okay? Gold. Gold has a problem, too. This is what you have here. We take a look at gold. Gold's trading down 1830 right now. So I'm going to put the volumes on here because this is what happened with gold. So, <coughs> so what happened to the gold market last Wednesday... You went higher on gold and it didn't hold price. That being said, it was in a, an ABC structure down. It never got to the swing point out here with this 1921. And I'm going with the ABC structure down. And the reason I'm going with the ABC structure down is this. And the ABC structure down, folks, is 1788. And the reason has to do with the amount of equities that I actually go through inside of the gold market. And what you're going to see is that there's so many of them 
that are in an ABC structure on the way down. Um, I just put Royal up. Royal's not one of them. Uh, but you have a lot of them that are on ABC structure down. So my take is that that's going to get fulfilled. More than likely, that is going to be getting fulfilled when the market takes its next leg down. And I suspect what this is going to be all about is when we bring this over to the U.S. dollar, this is going to be uh, a move that the markets are not anticipating. And what happens here is this, folks. If, in fact, this dollar breaks and makes that run for 121, what will happen, and you can, you can almost hear the, the Fed, wasn't the Fed, it was Janet Yellen and, and the Fed, okay, they're, they're all getting a little bit nervous right now. And what they're nervous about is the amount of leverage that is out there that they don't know about. And if I've, and most times what ends up happening is this, is that when you have markets that are this dramatic, okay, and the liquidity's drying up. What liquidity drying up means, okay, is the aspect of there's no bids on the market. That's one thing, okay, because you can't sell anything, you can't sell it. This correlation on the dollar, if we get a fast move like that on the dollar, oh, there's going to be dislocations so fast all over the place. Um, I can see that putting more pain in the marketplace. That's the bottom line. Some of the higher volume equities out here that we have out here today, you get advanced micros, that, that's up three bucks. You get Apple up three and a half. You get the Nvidia up 970. We have, uh, let's see, oh, poor Peloton. Microsoft's up seven bucks. Uh, PE Peloton, I think. Let's just look at this for a second because this might be an ABC down out of business. Um, and that would totally make sense because when you think about how many of those machines that we've seen in the trash for, some, for how many years, right? Not, I'm not talking about Peloton machines. I'm talking about every type of, um, you know, uh, exercise machine that you can think about. So... No, no, it's not an ABC down. Okay. You're, you're at uh, $13.15 right now, and they're still losing money hand over fist. Um, they've never made money, you know. This is what's amazing about this company. Uh, this year, so they're going to lose. They lost $1.07. They took in $964 million and lost $1.07. They lost every single year, yet the market basically brought that up to sky-high levels. Um, <laughs> uh, pretty wild, man. There's, there's no doubt about it. We go take a, let's go over to the S&Ps and just see, looking at these S&Ps, what they want to do coming into the close. Because you, you've had the S&Ps today as high as uh, 44065 Okay. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors.
everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's up 38. You got the Nasdaq up 209. S&Ps are up 31. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website, the TFNN. Gonna go right on the newsletters, just the opening call on the left-hand side, second one down, you just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're gonna check it out, you can keep that in mind, okay? You can get a six month, you can get a year. If it works for you, awesome. If for some reason, folks, it doesn't help you, 30 days from now, guess what? Get, you get your money back. And then on top of that, when you do get it anyway, what you're going to have is that you're going to have about 11 archives that Basil's done an amazing job with if you really want to understand how this market moves, how you ride that wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm very good, thank you. Are you getting some good weather up there now? I hope so. Uh, it's, you know, it's been quite cold. Oh. I think from tomorrow it should be beautiful. Okay, good, good. Yeah, well, I need that. Yeah, you <laughs> I like <warm. laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure most people do. I mean, it's bad enough the market's down. That gray sky up there in cold weather is not <laughs> right. cool. Yeah, exactly. It's a real gloom, right? Dark yeah. cloud cover. So this is very interesting because um, the Dow right now is gone. There's a, a technique that I developed, which I call the Chapman Wave inside track uh, support level or resistance level. And in this case, you can see the little red dashed line. Okay. We've gone right to that and we went under 32,000. For me, it's really the 32,000 uh, besides the psychological level in the Dow. It's really important because it's been above 32,000 for so long. So this is going to be absolutely imperative. We went to 31,877. It's hot. I guess in this market, it's not hard to believe, but we were actually at 32,752. Um, we're down 500 points from that, from earlier this morning. So this is, this is there's a lot going on. So what I thought is I'd just tell you key levels for me in the Dow, and the Dow has been the lead index for quite some time. It still is. And I'm using that kind of as a benchmark because the two things that are absolutely imperative for a rally to occur right now is that you need the Dow 
to, and now it has to go above that high of today, 32,752. That's number one. But you also have to get the QQQ, which had been every rally has just been pummeled to the downside. So the Qs are 303. And as soon as we can start to close above 313, that says to me, okay, now we can get a decent bounce. But what I thought I'd do is I'd mentioned it last week when we discussed uh, we discussed the, um, uh, the what I look at that I, that I said should be five independent areas, and I talk about them all the time. I nickname them um, Bondi for bonds. We've got uh, Goldie for for gold. We've got uh, the um, the others that I look at is dollar. That's Dolly for dollar, and uh, Oily for crude oil and Vixie for the volatility index. And the reason why I would love to have these things always sitting there is within the context of these different aspects, I've said for about four or five months now, I like to think of them as very independent. You and I have spoken about this market, how, how different it's been. Let's go through them one at a time. You know, bonds, normally, as I've re recalled over the year, not years, but decades, when there's volatility in the stock market, in other words, volatility in in stock market parlance is going down. So when there is go when markets are going down, money tends to migrate from the volatility of stocks into the so-called safety of bonds. This is the very first time that we've seen that just did not happen at all. In fact, as yields were going higher, so and bonds were going lower. So the stock market went in unison. So that's one divergence out of the, these two, these these two, Bondi, and uh, looking at the markets themselves. So the other thing is, uh, looking at the dollar. You just spoke about the dollar. Well, the dollar, and I should mention that subscribers, we've been long since uh, 2018 at about 90. This is at 103.91. Normally, you would find that as the dollar goes higher. Even if it's just on a short-term trend basis, invariably you'd have the, it's almost like a mirror image, not necessarily in percentages, but as dollar goes higher, gold goes lower. As gold goes higher, dollar goes lower. And that kind of happens a lot. In fact, I'd like to look at it and say the market mostly has about four to five week periods where the dollar and gold go up together, not in the same proportion. But this is very different to anything we've seen before. So dollar is, uh, you nicknamed it King Dollar. I think that's what it is. It's still so far King Dollar. Then the other thing we were looking at is uh, crude oil. When you look at crude oil, normally when the dollar goes higher, crude will pull back. That's just kind of, even if it's just a short-term basis. And yet we've got crude oil uh, at 99.90, down three, having made that high on the 7th at about 128. Um, it looks to me, and I was talking about this in my show today, that if you co if you consider, so, so that's the, the that's uh, Bondi, I have to always read it to get the sequence, Bondi, Dolly, Goldie, and Oily. But VIX is the other thing that I want to look at. Look, the VIX index at this particular height is close to where we were as um, Russia invaded Ukraine. We went to 37.79 on the 24th of February. And here we are at 32.73. So you would normally see huge triple digit down moves in the Dow when, when the um, volatility is up at this level. So that's why I've been saying, trying to think of all these different things as different units. Sometimes they come together and sometimes they go in the traditional way. We're not quite seeing that right now. So I think that that's pretty important to just consider that with the volatility still holding high until at 32.73 right now, we start to see a trade for about two out of three sessions uh, actually close. It can't just trade. It's got, to, it's got to start to go under 29. I'm not sure how big a rally there could be in the market, but as soon as that happens, it just releases with uh, the other aspect that I wanted to talk about, which is the commodities, the soft commodities. Look, the DBA, which is something we've had since the 13s, is trading at 21.52 right now. Uh, it, it, this is a very important aspect because if we start to see the commodities 
pull back and it's only short term. I don't know if the Fed would even talk about something like this because it's so short term, just uh, two, three weeks. But it, they are pulling back. And I think that that's important. So ingredients are there to say the all the things that are, that, that are attached to the fear factor in the market are slowly being ameliorated. How does the market respond? And as I say, I would need to see a really good sustained move on the upside with at least two big closes to the upside in the Dow, with the Qs actually all of a sudden starting to lead the rally. And I want to see the VIX really pull back very sharply. So those are the ingredients that we're looking for here. And it looked like early this morning there was this big rally, that, but it couldn't hold. We'll see what happens. So I got my parameters clear as anything. And folks, it's very easy to get Bowser's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see, hit the newsletter, hit uh, the opening call, second one down, you are off the races. Bowser, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Have Thank a great you. Day. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down uh, 75. NASDAQ is uh, up 151. S&Ps are up 13. So let's go take a look at uh, progress. I think progress. Is that progress insurance? Let me see. Uh, PGR. Yeah, progressive. I see. Okay. So, progressive. Uh, it's trading 107.87. The low is 88. The high is 120. Yeah, I wouldn't be buying this. This is, gonna, this is going after the lower end of uh, this consolidation. So 
The good news is that, yeah, you, you get a high with high volume. Let me pull this back a little bit more. You do have that high with high volume, which is great. But then you have last week that it couldn't get to its high. Now, this is really subtle, folks, okay? But I've seen this enough, okay? See this? So the first high is 15 million shares, right? Then we came down, okay? And that, that's, that's a good number, by the way. That, that's a good number up there. Then we came down, and you got down to a price point of 106. Then see the surge in volume? And you gave it up on price, and yet you couldn't make the, the spike? That's not, that's not a good situation. So, this is how this works. That's why I'm saying it's so subtle. It's not a good situation in a market that's weak. That's what it comes down to. So when I, then when I, that's on the weekday. When I take this with the daily, let's build on cause to go after this you know, lower end. Meaning, you know, let it, let it get down there again to that 106.35 uh, and see what happens there. We'll go over to Harmony Gold. We take a look at Harmony Gold right now. So how many gold uh, bottom line hits 341 today, hits the bottom of the consolidation. Uh, well, the bottom's actually 334. Any of the gold stocks that you're in, folks, okay, what you have to look at, look at these low swings that I'm talking about. There's a couple of them that look like they can actually break the low swings. Now, Harmony was actually pretty strong because what happened yesterday, that gap low yesterday, four miners got killed, unfortunately. And that was a lot to do with that gap low. I'm surprised it didn't go lower yesterday. Um, you know, so it looks like I suspect it'll probably hold at this point, but that's what you have happening. Uh, we bring this back. Let me put this on a weekly for a second. And see, it even on the weeklies, on the weeklies, you got to, you, you know, the lower ends of these swings a game on the, in just about anything in the gold market. But as I said a little bit earlier, what, th what does happen with Harmony is that that is stronger than a lot of these other gold equities. You know, it's, it's, that's just how the whole thing is set up. I mean, there's, the more that I, I look at a lot of these metal stocks in the market in general, the more that I'm saying, okay, man, it's going to be hard to comprehend that the dollar is actually going to run to that level. And that's when there's going to be a dislocation in the market, like in a monster way, not in a small way. Um, let's go over to the S&Ps and take a look at the S&Ps. So they look like they're going back to flat here. Let's just see what kind of volume we get on this pullback. Okay, so we're coming into 44,000 contracts. The last 10 minute buy had 33, so that's lighter volume. You're coming in with lighter volume. So it's gonna be all about this bar right here. And the bar so far has 13,000. And that's gonna be, well, we'll see what happens. With, with, on the 10 minute bars, what you have to do, you really have to, you get a better understanding, folks. You know, really, when you get seven or eight minutes. I do them on these smaller time frames, okay? But, you know, you. At any one point, someone can buy 10, 20, 30,000 contracts in about a second and, you know, say, hey, see what we just did. We just broke the high or we broke the low, whatever we did. Um, you know, but if we, two different things that have happened. So if you're watching Tiger TV, what I'm always looking for is this. So you came down, you just blew away the whole rest of the day with that, you know, 33,000. That being said, the 33,000 was going into... 44, but most of the time you got so far into it that you can expect that the S&P first would hit the lower end of that, which is 3991, and you're 3996 right now. So that's how that sets up. And then, of course, you get a, you, we're on the next bar. So if the next bar has 33,000 or more, guess what, man? You're going all the way down. That's how this thing, basically, that's how time of the trade works out. You know, so we'll see how that uh, shakes out. But we'll go over to the NQs. We'll take a look at the NQs. They're up 185 right now. They're trading at a price point of 12,386. And there we went to 547. This here, that bar there had. 9,800 contracts going into 17,000. So, you know, you, ha you can see the contraction that is happening. Same setup, though. Because you got so far into that bar, so 12,350 is actually game. Just even on this bar. 
And we're five minutes into the bar right now, and you get, uh, we'll see what happens. This is, only, this is a really light volume. Oh, hold it, one second. What do we do? Oh, no, it's heavier volume. I see. Okay. Yeah, the last bar was 9,800. At five minutes, we're at 5,800. So this is going to be, you know, between today and tomorrow morning, this is, you know, it would make sense that you get some kind of a, a bounce. And that is, when, when I talk about building claws, that is always the most dangerous, folks, okay? Because what ends up happening, if you go sideways, you get a bounce. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> People are buying it. And, and the bottom line, I, I get it. I, I get it. Trust me. You know, when, when you haven't gone down for, what, 14 years? Yeah. And go, we got water for 14 years. It takes quite a bit to break that. And I suspect it's going to be broken, but... Uh, not just yet. <laughs> so if we go, let's go to Microsoft. So, so Microsoft is also here. Let's just look at it first. Microsoft's a great equity, folks, to look at just in general. And meaning, if you're a technical person or a fundamental person, there's nothing like Microsoft, man. I mean, when we're talking about, you know, dollars and cents and, you know, what they have changed to society, um, you know, they take in, so picture this, they take in $199 billion. yes. 199 billion. So, when you take a look at Microsoft, it's a big part of the economy, right? Well, you can see what's happening with Microsoft. We hit a low yesterday with 47 million shares. You're going high with 31. Not even close, folks. When we get to a bottom, what happens is this. First off, there hasn't been enough yelling and screaming. It's not even close. I mean, not even close. That, and then you will not see an equity like Microsoft just go higher after a low vol of a high volume low. What happens is that it gets below that level, it spikes, and what a spike is, a spike is an intraday trade that will take you down at least two to three points on the next move down. It's kind of what I was talking about yesterday that you have, when you find bottoms, what happens is that you come down, and I'm talking about one day. You come down, you go sideways, you come down, and then you freaking go down double the amount of what you went down those first times. Because that is just a mind blower, and that is actually the wipeout. And guess what? We, we've had a couple days of you know, the, the two coming down. And that's why when you're trading in these markets, trailing stops are totally where it's at. I know, you know, sometimes you see it get stopped out trailers because you never, if you, you know, shut them out, you never know how far it's going to go down. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 140. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 113. S&Ps are up four and a half. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. A prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 150. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 99. S&Ps are up two. And uh, platinum. Let's go look at this because this could be really, you know, I know, folks, uh, the unfortunate part about we're all looking for places that, okay, you know, if you have it. So picture, I mean, this is what's so wild about this market. This is why I, my take is that you, you know, just take your time in any market like this, because it's going to be really tough to understand where any money should go. That being said, the PPLT, so this is platinum, okay? Platinum right now, well, let's go, let's go to the actual platinum, because this is what I've seen happen many times, okay? So platinum is at 947. And what, now, what happens, folks, is that this is highly volatile, no doubt about that. Okay, it's a commodity. If you never traded a commodity, all commodities are vol volatile by beyond belief. Now, let me, I'm gonna put this up on a continuous contract first, though. Because if you are also a fundamentalist, okay, my take on this platinum is that, you know, when you're looking for value and you're looking for something that is very valuable, okay, platinum is where it's at. So, you can see, now I just brought this back, okay? So I brought this back, I'm gonna bring it back further because I wanna show you something here. This is like, you've, you probably have seen this before, but it's, we'll do it again because it's good to know. So picture, picture, you know, I started the gold report, folks, in 2000, 2001. Gold was five, I mean, platinum was 500 bucks, okay? Gold was uh, 282, okay? So platinum was above it. Platinum made a run all the way up to 2300 bucks. Okay, I sold out about 1900. I sold everything I had, and I had at one point. So, listen to this this is really cool. On the 2000, yeah, it was the 2000 ones, I think. Off the mint, I had they didn't mint a lot of them, but they meant enough, enough of them. I had bought one quarter of all the coins, platinum coins, off the mint because no one wanted them. This is this is what's so crazy about markets, folks. Okay, picture this you know, I didn't know that I had a quarter of all the mint until after the fact, because then, the, you know, there's just no demand for them, so they, they discontinue that, then they start the 2021s. That's how it works. Make a long story short, I held them. Now, I, I really learned something also, so listen, check this out. This was pretty cool. Well, it wasn't cool for me at the time, but, um, so picture, I have the most perfect coins there are, and then when platinum went all the way up to that point, and this is something that all of us should understand about if you're going into the coin market and you think that you're going in for Hughesmatic coins, okay? Make a long story short, what ends up happening is that when metals go that high, well, I got a premium, okay, but it was a very small premium for what I had. And that's why even when I'm talking gold, even I'm talking silver, uh, you're much better off understanding what just the true value of it is instead of thinking that at some point you're gonna make hundreds of thousands of dollars because you get a great coin. You know, that's a different business altogether. Okay, 
So now let's cut to the chase. Platinum crashes. It goes from 2900 down to $760. And that's when gold hit 666 and the market hit 666 in 2008. Okay. You got a nice counter trend bounce. You come all the way back down. The bottom line is that, you know, you're, you're at 947. Can it test 916? Yeah. But guess what? The correlation is so heavy that you can see 1300 in a heartbeat. That's how it trades out. And if the, what happens is this, a good gold mine, okay, takes 10 tons of dirt to make one ounce of gold. That's what's so, always so intrigued me about the gold market. When I really started understanding, I'm saying to myself, this is amazing, 10 tons of dirt. I mean, that's a lot of dirt. Well, the platinum market is even harder than that, folks, okay? So my take, um, Frank, yeah, I, I like the PPLT in a big way, man. I mean, there's no, there's no doubt, because I think it's still undervalued, and it will be undervalued, um, you know, until it, you know, it goes higher. Uh, SB, SW, S, yeah, this is, uh, and I wouldn't go this way. Yeah, I wouldn't go this way. This is, this is why, watch. This is a great stock. Sabane still what? The lows 11, the highs 20. But this is what also happens, okay? Well, let me see what it looks like first. Because the platinum market was so big, yeah, see, this has been down big. Okay, so well, this is interesting. Now, hold it. Okay, so that has volume on the weekly. 26 million. Yeah, would I, I would not buy this yet, and this is why. So, so watch this. If you, if you look at this, what you have is this. Last week, this came down with 24 million, and we're going into 13 million. So that can break down. You know, we just started this week out, so that, that definitely can break down. Um, yeah. And you get a high volume low at 10.26. No, 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 that's not, no, it's not. That's the day before yeah, I would, th this is a good equity. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Uh, let's go take a look at what they have inside it. Revenue-wise, I mean. So, they looked down to do 162 billion and make 38 bucks. Recycling is 40 billion. Platinum's 102 billion. Mining. Gold mines, 28 billion. And then stream, so they work as a bank and they get uh, 625 million. It, when I look at both of those, um, I would go for PPLT. That's where I would go with that. And so what happens with that is this. If you go for the metal versus the equity anyway, okay, they're less volatile. Because if the metal moves a dollar, the equities can move buck and a half, two dollars, three dollars, because it's always a leverage type of play. So I would say that the PPLT is a better play to basically lay out, and not just even lay out that you know you'll make some money on the PPLT. That's that's my take on this, you know, because it's got destroyed so dramatically. Oh, and I didn't show you this yet because this is the weird one. So watch this PL1, and this is the thing that's really crazy. We put this up, and I'm going to compare this to gold because, okay, so let me see. Put this back 25 years. Because this crossed, probably crossed seven or eight years ago now. Compared to, where is that thing? Quick add. I'll try that. Quick add. Gold. Is that going to have it? My point is, is this, is that it's really unusual. Well, it's way down here. It only started in 2016. Okay, so it's really unusual that when you see that platinum is worth less than gold. Platinum has always, well, not, it's not even close to always because it's been below it for like 70 years. But if we go back 50 years, okay, yeah, you do have seven years right now. It's probably below it, but my, get my take is that, guess what? It's going to be above it again, so... Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 140, NASDAQ is up 103, S&P is up two and a half. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. With market volatility roaring back in April, Larry Pesavento has just announced a five-hour live trading webinar coming up on May 17th. Larry Pesavento is a 56-year trading veteran and has mastered his trading skills through many different market fluctuations. Join Larry on May 17th as he hosts a live five-hour trading webinar from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, giving you insight into how he analyzes the market and decides his plays. Larry will delve deep into the ABCD trading pattern, explaining how to structure your trading day, the times most likely to generate signals, which signals to ignore, and how to use the pattern to mitigate risk. In this all-day five-hour live trading webinar, take a seat by Larry's side as he trades the market markets real time, including the Dow and S&P 500 E-mini, crude oil, natural gas, gold, treasury bonds, wheat and soybeans, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar yen, and more. If you've ever wanted to get inside the mind of a market master, you cannot miss this live trading webinar. To sign up today, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is uh, down 78. Nasdaq's up 120. S&Ps are up 10. And so this is pretty cool, folks. Okay, so inside uh, one of our Tiger's dens out here, right, um, there's a... a Nearly 75% of consumers have less confidence to spend today as inflation hits 40-year high, according to uh, a new First Insight report. Okay, so you've heard these reports out here. People are worried, right? Now, let me give you the, the next tiger, what the next tiger said. Because of inflation, well, the other person was just reporting some news for us, and I, thanks, man, I appreciate it. So this other quote goes like this, because of inflation, I'm trying to spend more now, moving up project on rental properties, buying appliances, ETC. That, folks, is where everyone should be. And I'm not talking, to, not talking about, you know, all investments and all that. You can personally, right, we're in inflation. Everything's going to be more expensive next year. I don't care. We, inflation doesn't go away, folks, in 12 months. It just doesn't happen, okay? You get lower, but everything's going to be more expensive next year. You've got to start thinking in this context. And it's pretty cool if, when it's your own house or it's your rentals and stuff, okay? Because the bottom line, if, if stuff is starting to go south, well, the way that you keep good foundations is that you, keep, you take care of yourself. Your stuff, rather, okay? And that is great advice, okay? Because the bottom line is that, and I tell you, um, if I was a kid, well, even if I was a kid, I've actually stopped at a couple 
um, flea markets. And it, because you know what, folks? What at the beginning of this, people don't know how much stuff is worth, meaning how much wood is worth, metals are worth, okay? Um, because if you're not in the market and you've never really seen inflation, you don't realize people are throwing junk out that they think is junk. And guess what? It's not junk, man. I mean, there's real value, you know, to many of those things. So. All right, remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks.